Hello everyone. Today we're going to go over the 7 inch multi view reconfigurable cluster on the brand new 2015 Dodge Challenger. We're using a Challenger SXT Plus with a Super Track Pack. So we're going to get started up so we can take a look. So the first thing we see is our speedometer view. We have a digital speedometer, but if we hit the OK button, it'll change it over to kilometers per hour. And I'm going to actually show you the buttons I'm going to be using. Alright, so we're going to be using these buttons here, up, down, left, right, and the OK button. That actually, up and down, will cycle through your menus, and then left and right will make selections, like allow you to enter into submenus, and then OK will uh, be like your enter button. So, all right. So now we're looking at it. We're in speedometer. If we hit down, go into our vehicle info. You can see below tire pressure. There's a series of hashtags or hash marks that says that's how many submenus. So by pressing the uh, right button, we're just going to cycle through. So right now we're on tire tire pressure. Then we have our coolant temperature, transmission temperature. Also have your oil temperature, oil pressure and your oil life the air intake temperature is the actual uh, air temperature that's coming in through the air intake uh, then you have your engine torque right now we're sitting at zero pound feet uh, simply because we're not moving but if you rev the engine it'll show you your engine torque also have your engine power doesn't use any horsepower sitting down, but if it's being driven, it'll actually show. Okay, we're back to the number one hash, so we're going to go down again to item number three. That's your performance pages. So right now, you have your zero to 60 timer. You also have your zero to 100 miles per hour timer. Quarter or eighth mile timer. You also have your quarter mile timers braking distance, current g-forces, your peak, your lap timer, lap history, and your top speed. Driver assist is for your adaptive cruise. Fuel economy, there's two, level, two different fuel economies here. Then you have your trip info, trip A and trip B. Audio just shows what's being played on the radio via AM, FM, Sirius XM, or if you have uh, your Uconnect Bluetooth paired, it'll show all that as well. Messages are like if you have your seatbelts unfastened, uh, if there's anything wrong with the vehicle, like battery voltage or anything like that, low coolant, low fuel, that'll show up in stored messages. And then you have your screen set up, which is really nice. Kind of like in the charger, they'll highlight the areas. So you have your upper left, your upper right, and you can see how they'll highlight in red. You can restore your defaults, show your current gear. If you hit OK, it'll actually show. You can turn that on or off. You'll see the set, set, setting save. Odometer is below. Your gear display. If you hit OK, you can have uh, full, which is what it is right now. Or if you do single, it'll just show the park. And then if you change gear, it'll show in there. Then your center display, which is our screen setup. We're just going to keep that, but it can show your digital speed. And if you don't want to change anything, if you're looking through and you don't want to change anything, if you just hit left to exit, it'll actually just exit without change, making any changes or anything like that. And then, of course, your upper left, right now we have it as range, but you can change that as well. Your upper right is the exact same. 
and restore defaults just brings it back to uh, your factory defaults. And we're back to speedometer again. So that's just a quick overview of the new uh, reconfigurable multi-view display for the 2015 Dodge Challenger. Thanks for watching.